Please tell me this time you zoomed out a little bit, because last time you zoomed straight in on my nose. My nose takes up the whole camera, so let's hope you zoomed out to fit me and some other stuff in there other than this. Alright, let's work around this. Alright, today I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this video on the CZ PZ. I'm not editing that. I'm going with it. CZ PTNC, alright? This is the slide for it. Alright, this is your barrel factory. Guide rod and recoil spring. Which I want to talk about this. This is plastic. Okay? Why did they go with the plastic spring? Don't know. I'm not the maker. All I do is shoot them and enjoy them. And I do enjoy this gun because this gun is really nice. Here's the frame of the gun. And if uh, you're thinking it has a lot of features of a other known firearm out there, it, it does have some similarities, but that's as far as it goes as far as looks. All right. The internals is totally different. Now, your mags, all right, on this one, holds 15 plus rounds, or plus one, so that gives you 16 rounds. You got an orange follower, a nice spring in there. It feels really tensioned up. Um, it, factory, it comes with two, all right. I'm not unloading this because this is my carry gun, so I'm not unloading both of them. If you think, and I can shoot somebody with this gun in the state it is, but I'll show you it's unloaded. Alright, now, from factory it also comes with three different back straps. You got a small, medium, and large. My hands, I'm not going to call them gargantuous, but I'm going to call them fairly more than small. And I do have the small back strap on this, and I just have not changed it out. I will end up going with the large back strap because my finger on the pad fits a little further than what it should actually fit the way I, I like shooting. But all in all, this gun is my EDC gun. That's just what I carry every single day of my life. So what I'm going to do is actually reassemble the gun. What you want to do is hold your slide upside down. You want to easily put your barrel back in just like that. Yeah, that's how it fits. It fits flush right there. Then what you want to do is you take your guide rod and you put your big end right there in the hole. Give it a little shove. And there's a groove here. As soon as I get it in, I'll show you how that fits. See how that fits in there? That's where it needs to be. <clears throat> now, what you want to do at that point Turn your barrel around where you're not shooting yourself with, you know, half a gun. <laughs> Anyways, you put it, in, it's got grooves here. You put it there, pull to there, rack it back. All right. It's got ampedestrious slide locks. All right, this gun is full ampedestrious, other than the ejection port here. But it, it's for left or right-handed shooters. I mean... And pedestrious if you know what the word is. Alright. <laughs> Trigger wise on this gun, listen. There's your brake. Now look. Reset. That's your wall right there. Let me see if I can turn this around and do it upside down. Right there. That's all the travel you have in that gun. Alright, right there. All right. Nice trigger in this gun. Now, I mean, it's. I actually have a PO7 that I really enjoy shooting, and in the future will probably be my carry gun. But I'm going to give a demonstration on why it's not a carry gun right now, <coughs> and it's all on textures. All right, there's nothing here to actually get a good grip on as far. It fits good in my hand, and I love the way it feels. But it don't have enough stippling here, around here, there. Now let's look at this. Look how aggressive. Rawr. Rawr. Alright. <laughs> I'm getting some looks from my camera person there. But anyways, stippled here, stippled down, all around. You can actually grip it good. Now I'm gonna tell you some dislikes. Oh, 
Another thing, from factory with his gun is night sights, all right, and it is the true night sights, all right. It ain't the ones you actually have to put a little flashlight on and hope they'll charge up because that is this case. You have to put a light on them, they don't live without it. This is tritium inside this light right here, all right. Up. Gun safety people, we are safe. All right, it is tritium here and in here. A lot of people like to take a marker and dark out these last sights to where all you have is a groove and a front sight. <clears throat> I don't do that just because I never know if I'm gonna keep a gun, you know, one year, 10 years, or 20 years. It, you know, if I have a gun and I'm happy with it today, you know, I'm gonna keep it, but tomorrow I may not be happy with it and decide to sell it. So reselling a firearm that you go and make it your own and customize it to you may not be customized to somebody else and it may hurt you on a resale. So that's something to consider if you're going to collar fill any of your slides or your uh, laser etching, anything like that. You go to do that, you need to <clears throat> think about that. All right, it's a... Uh, it's got grip right here on the front slide, the back of the slide. Um, look, there again, I'm going to say that trigger is awesome. Alright, on your mag, it does hold open on your last shot. Alright, to be able to drop your slide, you got to drop your mag like that. You cannot uh, drop your slide back, <clears throat> it just won't work. It's got a safety in there, so you got to drop your mag. This gun is capable of firing without a magazine inserted. And if they tell you it's not, they're lying because this has happened to me. I have been able to fire a round out of this weapon without a magazine inserted into the mag well. Another thing that they tip say that you should watch out for is over in search. Now watch this. This is a live round. I'm doing this to show what is capable. You can get the mag right there. It will release your slide. That is my opinion. I'd rather it not do that. I want to release the slide and load the gun when I'm ready to load the gun. I don't want the gun to load itself. I want to load the gun when Tim says it's time to be loaded and game on. Not, oh, you just slapped me in, let's go. No, it, it shouldn't do that. It should stay locked open. Um, other parts of it, it does, when you're wanting to break this gun down, it is very lockish. You do have to pull back on your slide and release down on that, and then it will come out. I'm not going all back through that. That's why I did this in reverse to where I didn't have to show you how to break it down instead of that reassembling. So I call this this video reboxing. Reboxing it. If you buy this gun from oh no I got all these tag on magazines and no I marked them. Alright the P07 and the P09 will or P10 will actually fit in each other. Alright, but it's got a bigger base plate right there. So what I did to make sure I did not make any malfunctions is I marked the bottom of these. I took a knife and made a couple grooves down through them. That way I knew the difference. You can make a noticeable difference there. Alright, it's quite a bit bigger. But I didn't ever want to be at the range and make a horrible decision and put the wrong magazine in there. So I made marks there. Um so in boxing it back up, we're gonna put the empty mag in. Your spare mag has a hole here. Your extra back straps go in there and all your paperwork which and then your your brush it does come with a brush and a a uh, uh, rod here. Now, I can go through and dig all this paperwork out if you want. Oh, look here, you got some Allen wrenches, which, <laughs> hate to say this, 
I hate to say that I didn't know that was in there. Alright. Price wise. I bet you'd like to see what's on here. Nah, I'll show you. That's what I gave for the gun. Yeah, that's what I gave for. It. Right here. $480. That's how much it cost. It was new. Yeah, I keep all these, by the way. Uh, all the other stuff in here is your uh, CZ paperwork. Um, see right there? That's who they held the gun for. Tim Sparks. I can make a call there and say I need that. No, it ain't like that. Alright, they say these guns is like shot on at the guarantee and where it's actually hitting. It's it's not legit. That's laser. Okay. That's a that's a laser coming out. Um here's your C Z manual. Boy, I actually should have got that out. Limited five year warranty. Hmm. I'm actually going to keep this out. I need to take care of that. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright. All in all, wow, I really screwed up by not taking all this stuff out to do my boxing video. Well, guys, anyways, I hope this was in warning to anybody that was actually willing to want to watch the video. I, I know I've watched a ton of CZ uh, videos on how to, how everybody else thought of it. Now, I could go out here and go to the range and you could watch me shoot it, and what you're going to hear very soon, uh, I'm going to actually take it to the range and I'm going to shoot it. And I'm going to put probably 100 rounds down the range and let you see because there's a bunch of videos out there talking about a horrible flaw that it won't actually come all the way back in the slide will lock about right there and it's a simple fix from what i've seen on the videos all they got to do is rack it but if you're dependent on this gun to protect you and your loved ones and you had to go to a deadly force to defend your life you, you want to make sure that is there to, and it's going to function like it's supposed to. So, you don't want that. What you want is it to be there. That This is supposed to be a perfect marriage on both ends. So you, But I have seen a guy talk on two different videos of the slide being stuck there. Me, personally, I've had several hundred rounds in this. And it's never done that. So what we're going to do is go to the range and I'm going to just shoot the fire out of it. And if I can get it to malfunction in any kind of way for the sake of anybody else wanting to purchase this and you thinking about buying it, I'm going to give you my opinion. Oh, I did not mention this. When the firearm is loaded, it has a loaded indicator right here. That will pop out and you have about the thickness of my fingernail is right like that you can barely see it <laughs> if they wanted to put a load indicator on this firearm they should have put a load indicator i'm not saying copy xd or smith and wesson put a port or anything like that if they wanted to go this route they should have had it stick out enough to where you could actually see it you can barely see the orange right here saying, I'm loaded, don't pull the trigger. Alright, honestly, they, they should have done a better job. Uh, like I said, not trashing CZ, but I'm being honest, and I, that's what I want to be. I don't want to say, I'm a CZ man, they do nothing wrong, but that's not the facts. The facts is they do stuff that they need to improve on, and improving is what makes, you know, something work but they've been in company and business long enough that you know they know so I don't, I don't need to be their spokesperson um what i am going to be for them right now is my name is tim and i am armed with freedom and i appreciate you watching my video